Food Sovereignty Ghana and the Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana are advocating for the rights of Ghanaian citizens to adopt organic food for health and wealth. The speakers emphasized the unwavering opposition to GMOs in Ghana's agriculture, citing health, environmental sustainability and economic viability concerns, emphasizing the potential risk associated with GMOs. There are unintended risks of genetic engineering in the sense that when you do these mixes, the outcome can be something you didn't expect. So we are not waiting for people to be having three arms and four legs or whatever unintended outcome of that genetic engineering is. We are rather telling Ghanaians and our policymakers that since we have 40% of our food rotting on our farms, they should rather turn their eyes there and stop talking about the, the, the population is rising, lack of food, food security. They highlighted the significant challenges in Ghanaian agriculture, such as inadequate infrastructure and lack of credit for farmers, and questioned the effectiveness of GMOs in addressing these issues. At the last State of the Nation address, His Excellency the President made it clear that Ghana was now a net exporter of meat, that Ghana was a net exporter of soya, and that the last minister was on record that since PFJ came, no importer has come to him to seek permits to import meat because we've produced so much meat in the country, there's no need to what, import. The agenda to bring GMO is not an issue of productivity. It is an interest that they want to fulfill. The advocates urged government to invest in agriculture education and support organic farming initiatives for long-term food security, empowering Ghanaian farmers, ensuring food sovereignty and protecting the nation's agricultural heritage from the uncertain impacts of GMOs. Emmanuel Samani, TV3 News, Accra.